So what's up my dickies? Uh, Mr. Acid Apple, and as you can see, there is no layout or anything, and I'm actually using a different program to record this. Reason being is, today is going to be a fun episode in the Safari Zone, and I didn't feel it was necessary to give the Safari Zone a layout, just because we'll be just catching random Pokemon that's not really going to be in our team, and we're just going in there to get Surf and whatnot, or Strength. Surf and Strength, I think. Yeah, I think it's technically both. Uh, and that's it. But I will show you the Pokemon and what I've done with them. You can see they're they are all level 35, except uh, Ashtray. He's level 36. So he would have evolved. We have a Dragonair who is, uh, I guess, uh, average. Was so say. She got Slam. That's pretty great. We have Winky Face who has relatively good attack, amazing defense. Nothing else too special, and he didn't get any attacks, go figure. Shine, pretty much perfectly normal. Again, just about average. HP is relatively nice, but that's about it. Ashtray, uh, Blastoise now. Uh, pretty much like Marowak, but better speed and special, so I would say he's above average. Uh, Transform, and very incredible speed. Very nice special, and learn Thundershock, so we can abuse that a little bit more. And Ducks is, um, I guess you could say average, though with Swords Dance, I would consider this attack nearly doubled every time. So that's up, is what's up with my team. Now onto the VZ, the Savari Zone owns. And, but let's check out the Pokemon first. Let's, let's make them feel like they're at a amusement park. Slowpoke, who is very friendly, but slow moving. And, uh, I think this is, uh, or this is uh his nickname so we're gonna call him dopey i think that's very uh which coming up to our next pokemon is egg excellent hardy heart her we got a chance here catching one is all up to chance which is very well true uh i think that's name is egg or it's like the egg pokemon or something i'm gonna call you egg uh, if i actually had three chances i'd name him scrambled or fertilized her her i know i'm very clever uh i think that thing back there was a Voltorb. Before we go on, we gotta pay our dues, five hundred dollars, catch all the Pokemon we want, which is really a lie because you only get thirty Pokeballs, so that's false advertisement. Someone needs to get on them, tisk tisk. But yeah, uh, right when you walk in there, uh, they actually limit you to five hundred steps and thirty Pokeballs, so not very hunky dory, but that's okay because most of the time we are here for two things. At the very end of this maze would be a guy with Surf. Which is your reward for finding him. And a sec second is, <clears throat> excuse me, gold teeth. I believe that's what they are. Or wooden teeth. Which we return back to the guy and we get strength. So two very amazing uh, HMs which we will need. Uh, execute rain with no legs. Okay, Nintendo logic. But that's pretty much what Safari is for. If you want like a uh, Tauros or uh, I guess Chansey or if you just you know want to stockpile on uh, Pokemon there you go we got a full restore I very much appreciate that though our Pokemon are not high you know levels where we can abuse how much uh, HP they have you know, still never bad so let's uh, try to catch this near anime of course we'll catch it no we don't that's very uh, abnormal because those things are like you cannot not catch one Especially since they're like the Zubat, the Safari Zone, you just can't stop running into them. You can't hold all these Nidorans. I believe the path is over here-ish, yes. Walking on slopes with lines through them. They're kind of like stripes. A striped slope, hell yeah. I think in this patch of grass, you can uh, actually catch Tauros. Oh, a Nidorino. Be cool to kind of evolve one of those into a Nido King. Maybe that's just me, but I think that'd be kind of cool. Are we actually going to catch them? Wow. Okay. Uh, what, what what would be a good nickname for a Nidorino? The Poison Pin Pokemon. An aggressive Pokemon that is quick to attack. The horn on its head secretes a powerful venom. So let's name him. Um, let's see if this works. If there's enough room. Venom. No, there's not. But I will make the best of it. Venom Energy. Uh. 
Where's N? Oh, hi. N. R. G. <laughs> there we go. Venom energy. There we go. Yeah, that, uh, that's kind of okay, I guess. Uh, oh, okay. Wow. Pokemon galore. I am loving it. Sorry about, like, the blue side right here. Uh, yeah. Things and such. I, I resized it wrong pretty much. Well, let's catch a rival. Wow, there's a lot of things with horns and horniness and rock hard horns in here. Uh, just just saying, you know, maybe that's what the Safari Zone's trying to tell us. Yeah, that's just me. Okay, I'm not gonna catch you. No, yes, run, you bitch. I don't like you anyways. Douche. So, uh, yeah, as, oh, okay, I was about to say, if I don't remember all the TMs, I'm very sorry about it. TM40 is, uh, Skull Dash. Uh, I know I don't got too much room in my bag, so I won't bother getting too many other things because I'm gonna need room for Surf. And for the golden slash wooden teeth, I want to say golden just because that's more fashionable, but I don't know. How many steps do we got? Oh my god, we got so many steps. It's incredible. Alright, so here is the gold teeth. That was very close. And then if you come over here, uh, I really want to get you TM32. Let's just see what you are, see if you're even useful. Double team, not really. Toss, yes. Uh, if I need TM32, I will gladly hack it on to the game. So if you talk to this Blaine looking kind of duder, uh, he's like, ah, finally, you're the first person to reach me. Reach me, the secret house, same thing. I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won HM03. Which, if you guys don't know, uh, is Sir. So let's go teach that to Blastoise, certainly. Because uh, he definitely needs a more powerful... Hey, Genie could learn that. Or Dragonair Herpeter. But Blastoise does need a better stab. So, let's... What have we got? Bites? Tail? Okay, well. I guess we're getting rid of Water Gun. It's not like he really needs it, but whatever. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much the Safari Zone. We got the Gold Teeth. We got HMO3. Can we, yep, and then we can officially come down here, and I think we can use it. Now a new badge is required. You're a dick. That's what you are. Uh, wait, is that a house? Oh, I think that's actually, if you take this link across, you can actually go to the beginning, and that house has, I think, a different little secret within it, but... Uh, so with our remaining steps, we can, you know, chill and try to catch some Pokemon. And every other hunky dory thing that you can do in a safari zone. Like, you can free roam, you can catch a chance. What, is, what are chances doing in the safari zone, anyways? Like, that seems like the least wilderness Pokemon, like, out there. Like, you kind of figured out, like, a better place to catch a chance to, like, behind, like, a Pokemon Center or, like, in a kitchen or something. Like, come on. Make it make breakfast. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, what are you? Protein, okay. Um, who needs that? Ducks, ducks needs an item. Certainly. I would love to raise the attack. I believe his attack was at 31 earlier, so yes. Let's give him that. If it's not at 63, you're going in the computer. Oh, hot damn, it's at 63. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, very well. You may live on in my pockets. Uh, where are the Pokemon? Like the one, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, the one time I kind of want them. Uh, oh, great, another Executor. That's hunky dory. Execute. No, I said Executor. I don't even think you can catch those in any game in the wild. Jesus Christ! Get in the bo No, I don't even want to waste time on you. You're pretty much retarded in a half. You may have seven brains when all of them have a quarter of an IQ. That's only an IQ and three quarter. Ooh, a Paris. I'd catch a pair. I actually think I tried catching one earlier on in this Let's Play, but it didn't really work out too well. Yeah, I tried catching one, I believe, in uh, it was the episode 5.5, .5 where I didn't actually have a layout to that one either, because I was on vacation and things and such. It's pretty much when I beat the uh, dome guy. So, yeah. A little. Fun fact for you there, I did try catch a Paris. 
because I thought he would be legit. It's weird because the Pokemon I have are not like a well-rounded or like we. It's a very weird thing we got: ground, dragon, normal, water, electric, and flying. It's just a very unorthodox team. Like there's like I'd probably say very little synergy within that. So, uh, so we'll just throw the ball at you. I'll probably use like five on you and um, go from there. So let's throw a rock. That's not going to be very effective, but I don't give a damn. Uh, hopefully making them mad. Well, actually, yeah, oh, okay, actually kind of legit. Um, yeah, make it easier. That's pretty cool. So Rhyhorn the Spikes Pokemon, its massive bones are 1,000 times harder than human bones. It can easily knock a trailer flying, which is kind of weird. So, uh, since you remind me of, like, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm going to name you Plank. That seems like a very nice name. Female. You're a female Plank. That means you have a hole in you. Her. Uh, seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Okay. Uh, well, I think we're still technically at four. I don't need another plank. Unless you're 27. 26. Okay, let's, let's throw a rock at you. We'll get a male plank for uh, the female plank. And he's angry. He's fierce. Urgh. Did I really catch him? Okay, good. I didn't want to catch him. Let's throw some bait. Let's, let's calm your nipples, please. They're lactating all over my face. Very rude. I don't need that, so... My sister already texts me at like 3 in the morning like, yo, they're lactating. Like, I don't need to know that. Like, no one should ever know when their sister's things are going off. Like, I, I don't need to know about your internal clock of nastiness. Uh, so we got a plank mail now. That's pretty great. We got four. We got three. We're at three. Three or two, one, zero. Oh, well, okay. So I guess technically we're at four. But, uh, um... I guess that's mostly for the episode. I guess I will go check out fucking cut man. Who are you? Why are you a thing? Ooh, King is Khan. Yeah, I guess we can catch one of those. Uh, the maternal Pokemon who puts things in its pouch like uh, got a Cubone or something like that. So I guess we can go check out what our Pokemon have to offer us. This sounds like a hunky door idea. I'm not gonna fast forward just because. I always feel bad when I do. What, are you a Voltorb? Yes, you are. The very image of a Pokeball. Uh, it's a ball, if you guys didn't know. Thought I'd kind of form fucking trees. Ugh, they're almost as bad as Sopa. Not really. Sopa's pretty much if the devil wanted to really put people in hell, he would not have the internet. Or he would have dial-up internet. At speeds equivalent to the internet we had back in 1779 pretty much that that would pretty much be hell or you know what have a computer hanging from the person with their email or Facebook or Twitter or whatever else they like just hang it in front of them they can't access it or anything or with their cell phones you know get, like hang it in front of them but yeah it's like they can't like get service or something so we're going to put Marowak away because he was the last Pokemon we got and we are going to check out the Pokemon. So, uh, here's Plank Mail. Very legit defense and attack. Only knows horn attack. Okay. Let's check out um, Plank Female. She's a lot worse. A lot. What was your HP? Okay, 78. What was yours? 80. Okay, so the male one is somehow a lot better. Uh, a lot more... Uh, speed and better HP and I believe just better stats in general so um, uh, Venom energy let's check that 82 uh, nothing spectacular there I was actually expecting a little bit more attack and it's attacks are alright I guess she got ditto oh fuck I didn't want ditto in my group what the hell who fuck uses ditto unless it's like 5th gen with an eccentric or something like that I don't know 
Uh, yes, if you guys don't know, yeah, I pointed out in a bit I got two Cubones. But let's check your stats for whatever reason. Wow, you're actually not bad. Okay. That's weird. Uh, who else do I have? A better bird. You're Pidgey. You're Oddish. Where's my Spiro? I had Spiro, didn't I? Well, that's... That's so weird. Okay. Um... Because, yeah, I'm not... I traded it for the far fetch. that's right. So, that was the end of the episode, guys. Um, as you guys can see, in like the past three or so days, I posted a video about shoelaces, uh, a new thoughts video, and a uh, demo duder game that I found, which I believe I will put ad notations at the top of the screen as I set them. Uh, so you can rate, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, I'm forgetting one other favorite, you can do that too, though I don't really keep track of favorites, never hurts. So until then guys, hopefully you don't mind a mix up of videos and you have got your fix.